Patients could prove to be challenging. Sleep expert Amanda Jusen joins us this morning with tips on how to sleep soundly no matter where your summer travels take you. Don't we all need this advice? Good morning, Amanda. How are you? <laughs> Great, how are you? You know what, I'm great. I could so relate to this because when I'm at home, I have a sweet, sweet slumber. The second I'm anywhere different, I toss, I turn, I flounder like a fish. You say this is called the first night effect. It's an actual thing. It is, it's a total thing. It is backed up by a ton of research that suggests when we are out of our house, we actually sleep very poorly. And that is actually a great response from our body. It's our body saying, hey, we're in an unfamiliar place. We don't know what's going on. Let's just keep you a little bit more alert. So if there is a danger present, you can wake easily. It's so it's, it's protective, but it's not great for modern times. It's not productive <laughs> for us, exactly. So you say there's three things we should be packing in our suitcase to help ensure a better slumber. What are those things? Well, first, I love to travel with a little bit of lavender. And nice. lavender has a lot of relaxation properties. So, you know, a quick smell and you're, ah, you're in the zone. And that's going to, when your body is relaxed, it allows us to fall asleep and stay asleep easy. I love traveling with my white noise machine. Oh, <laughs> I know smart. that we think of these for babies. You can also download one of these onto your iPhone, but the white noise really helps us, um, it cancels out all of the noise in our area. So let's say you're in a hotel and you hear everyone's party noise from down the hall, or you're at a cottage and you're traveling with another family and they're up at 5 a.m. and you definitely don't want to be, just crank your white noise up a little bit. It's going to allow you to sleep soundly. Finally, this is a little bit weird, but stay with me. I travel with garbage bags. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and two layers of garbage bags, a little bit of painter's tape is going to create blackout conditions uh. wherever you are. So if you're in a cottage with some oddly shaped uh, windows, you can cut the garbage bags. They fit any window, you're going to sleep like a baby or You even just better. have to be careful when taping them, right? Because they'll charge you if you rip some paint off. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the painter's tape. The painter's oh. tape keeps you, I know, it's the best, trust okay. me. And it okay. sticks forever. Great, great tip. What about for parents with little ones? What can they mm -hmm. do to help? You already mentioned the white noise machine. Mm -hmm. Well, there's two things that parents might not know. Uh, I love this. I did this with both of my girls. Most pack and plays or travel cribs will fit in the bathroom of your hotel room. <laughs> Oh. That gives baby their own space and own opportunity to have a great sleep. Oh, great. I love, I see that you have this lumber pod there. This is also an enclosure that goes over, if you don't want to stick your kids in the bathroom, this enclosure goes over most pack and plays or travel cribs to give your child a blackout condition in any space. And finally, the easiest thing that anyone can do, and they can start right now, is implement a bedtime routine. That is something you don't have to pack. It goes everywhere, uh, you know, a bath, book, bed, and, and that's all your child needs to know that bedtime is next. Great tips. You also say light inventory is needed. So what are we looking for when we're taking light inventory? Okay, anywhere you're going to go, you're gonna turn off all of the lights. And any blue or white lights that you see, these are usually on our electronic devices or chargers or uh, humidifiers, you are going to unplug them. If you can't unplug them, you are going to travel with a little bit of electrical tape, cut a little bit of piece off and cover it. That is going to make sure that when you're up at you know two o'clock in the morning, your room isn't brightly lit because these lights are very, very bright and it replicates the sun. So your brain keeps waking you up all night saying, hey, the sun is up, wake up, let's do this. Amanda, you're awesome. I want to get to these before we run out of time. You say you've got hot hotel tips. What floor should you request? The highest floor possible. You will want to avoid foot traffic. You want to stay away from the elevator and you want to ask for a pillow menu. So Whoa. depending on how you sleep, if you sleep on your back, side or stomach, you are going to need a different type of support. Make sure you call ahead and see if they have a pillow menu that you can choose from beforehand. And what free service do you say we should always take advantage of? 
I, okay, I travel a lot for work. I do these early morning shows and I freak out that I'm not going to wake up in time. So I always ask for the the call, the hotel call. The they will service. call and do a wake up call for you. And that sort of, it, it shuts my brain off for the next day to say, listen, you're going to wake up because they're going to keep calling you until you answer that phone. Well, listen, proof is in the pudding. You look well rested and you made it for this early morning hit today. So thank you so much for the Thank tips. You. Where do we find out more, Amanda? You can head to babiesbestsleep.com or find me on Instagram at babiesbestsleep. Awesome. Thank you so much. You helped many of us today.